Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for listening again. This is Ricardo once more, and um, we then continue with some notion about the age of cancer, huh? as promised. And I'd like to mention that the age of cancer uh, began around 8001 before Christ and went up to 6000 before Christ uh, in the timeline huh, of history. So if in Leo I say that it was ruled by the sun, uh, this phase of cancer is ruled by the moon instead. In cancer we find in countries like India, also Mesopotamia, Egypt and China, uh, the first fixed dwellings that were created by men, and by dwellings I mean houses. Uh, in this era, man lives the caves and abandons nomadic life. Uh, agriculture also begins to be developed to guarantee people's livelihood in a more stable way. Yeah? This phase is governed by the moon, of course, instead of the, the sun, and matriarchy dominates Egyptian civilization. At the time, fertility rituals were also very spread, not only spread but encouraged, and which is another characteristic of the sign of cancer. It is also very important for me to mention that cancer is a sign of water element, uh, having the quality of being a cardinal sign, and of course uh, polarity negative in uh, Opposition to Leo in this case. Huh? According to data uh, in the book of Genesis, it was at the beginning of this era when the flood suffered by Noah had occurred. Water signs have no human representation in the zodiac, only animals are associated with them. Uh, Pisces and Scorpio are already pretty obvious to most of you guys, right? I think you know. So, Cancer is represented by a crab. Water symbolizes purification, uh, but in addition, it also symbolizes the origin of life, as well as fertility and our instincts. As we have already seen, it is believed that Atlantis destroyed itself due to the misuse of fire. The fire symbolizes the power of Leo and uh, sinking into the waters can symbolize the purification of cancer in the process of renovation, right? from, uh, from one uh, era to another. The survivors spread out Yes, people from Atlantis, and used their instinct to continue living and, of course, mixing with other cultures. Uh, and what are the characteristics of the water element? Basically, three, okay? Uh, dissolution, instinct, and also mixing. Uh, this social and cultural reorganization promoted by the survivors of Atlantis marks the age of cancer uh, together with the purification and spiritual rebirth of the people of Atlantis. It is interesting to note that practically all the people of the planet have a legend or a myth about uh, the universal flood, where water served as a purifying source for all the races. In these myths, all existing pre-flood civilization was destroyed and a new cycle of evolution was started with the remaining barbarians, if you will, barbarians. Uh, cancer, therefore, represented 
uh, renovation and grew uh, from the previous experiences of the age of Leo as well, being an energy very closely linked to the past, okay? And this is, of course, usually something that tends to happen from age to age uh, in evolution. Huh? So I think this is it for today, okay? I think, I think it's a good uh, summary for today. And uh, thanks a lot for following this conversation and make sure you are here for the next one where I'm going to talk about the age of Gemini. Huh? Interesting too. So, see you there. Take care.